Well, you can now publish your video podcast to an even wider audience. Spotify for Podcasters now allows you to upload and attach the video version of your show to any episode in your podcast, no matter where you host it. So if you host the audio version somewhere else, you can just upload the video version in your Spotify dashboard, and then anyone that finds your podcast in Spotify can listen or watch your show. Here's how it works. The first thing you wanna do is go to the Spotify for Podcasters website. You'll find the link down in the video description and either log in with your current Spotify account or sign up for a new account. Once you create or log in to your Spotify for Podcasters account, go to the add or claim your podcast screen. Click get started and then paste the RSS feed link. You'll find that from your podcast host like Buzzsprout or Transistor. You'll get an email to verify and then you'll be able to manage your podcast here in Spotify for Podcasters. Once you claim your show and it's available in your dashboard, you might see this pop up where you can add videos to your existing audio episodes and it's super easy. On your podcast page, you can scroll down and see a full list of your episodes. Now to add the video version to any of your episodes, just click the three dots next to that episode name and click upload video. On this screen, just select the video file from your podcast, which if you don't record video yet, I'm gonna show you how to do that super easily and for free. And then the video version of that episode will upload, mark whether or not there's explicit content or promotional material like a sponsor or ad read. Once it's uploaded, click next. You can preview the video and review it here and then click publish. And now the video version is automatically attached to that episode of your podcast. Now that I've uploaded a video for that episode, let's jump into the Spotify app and see what it looks like. I'll go to my podcast here. Let's play one of the episodes where I added video. And now you'll see that video plays right here in the Spotify app even though my podcast, Primary Technology, is hosted on Transistor. So my audio RSS feed and video can both be available here in Spotify, and all I have to do is upload that video file to the Spotify for Podcasters dashboard. Now, one thing to keep in mind, if you edit the audio version of your show more than the video, meaning it's shorter in length, maybe you cut more out, then any chapter markers you might have in that audio RSS feed are not gonna match the video version you upload to Spotify. I actually have done that up till now, so these chapters that I have in the Spotify app, which get pulled from my audio RSS feed, don't match the video. So someone can tap a chapter here, and it will skip to that timestamp, but you'll find it's not accurate to the content of the video. It's close, because I didn't edit it that much more, but it is different. A great way to solve that is to have your video and audio version actually match up, and the best way to do that is edit it all in Riverside, and then you can export a video and audio version one right after another, and they'll be exactly the same. Also, if you haven't added video to your podcast yet, Riverside makes that super easy, and maybe you haven't even launched a show yet, well, Spotify for Podcasters lets you host your show completely for free, including video, and when you do that, you can record with Riverside completely for free, and you get that video and audio version too. Let me show you how that works. So for that, I've created a new podcast here in Spotify for Podcasters, and when I'm ready to create a new episode, you'll see there's a Create with Riverside option right here. When I click that, I'll be brought over to the Riverside Studio, and here I can record video and audio or edit a previous episode. If you have multiple studios, you can now select those up here as well. Let's record a new video podcast right here. We'll jump into the studio, and we're just seconds away from recording a video podcast. And inviting remote guests to record with you, like a co-host or interview guest, is incredibly easy. I'll click the invite button here at the top, copy this guest link, and someone else just has to open that in either Google Chrome or Microsoft Edge on their computer, or use the Riverside app on their iPhone, Android device, or iPad, and they can join the call as well. When we're ready, just click record, and we're recording in high quality video and audio. When you record with Riverside, all that happens locally, so any internet blips or slowdowns doesn't affect your recording. And then you can put it all together in the Riverside editor. Editing your podcast in Riverside is incredibly easy. I can rearrange the tracks and even update the layout. Maybe I want to add some space between me and my co-host. I can add a brand image behind us. There's lots of stock images here to choose from. And I can even add animated captions to my video as well. If I want to edit the video and audio, all I have to do is select text here in the transcript on the right, which you get with every recording, click delete, and I've edited the video and audio of my podcast. If I need to search for something specific in the recording, I can enter that search term, scroll through all the results, and that makes finding places to edit even easier. So not only can you edit via transcript, just selecting and deleting words and phrases, I can also edit via the timeline at the bottom. I can split sections here, create multiple cuts, and then I can delete this entire section. And if I want, I can even add clips here in the middle in between any sections from my other Riverside recordings, edits, or upload video clips and splice them in wherever I want. I can also upload an entire intro to the podcast here, and we have powerful tools like image overlays, search for royalty-free images, click one and it'll overlay on the video. I can have it fill the frame. 
We also have text overlays where you can add subtitles, URLs, lower thirds, and more. And then when I'm ready to export, I just click the export button at the top. I can export up to 4K video quality, normalize audio so everything's the same volume, and export that video directly back to Spotify if that's where I'm hosting, or just upload it to my specific episode. And the great part is, after I've made all my edits, let's say I'm exporting the video version now, I can just click Keep Editing. It will retain all the edits I just made with my overlays and cuts. I can go back up to Export, then just go over to Audio and get an MP3 version for my podcast host and export that here. Now my audio and video files are exactly the same, and now everything will match up when I upload that video to Spotify. Not to mention you can create magic clips from your long-form content, which creates minute-long vertical videos to share on YouTube Shorts, Instagram Reels, or TikTok. And if you upgrade to our standard or pro plans, you can download the high-quality video and audio files as separate tracks for all of your recordings. And that's how to add video to your podcast in Spotify, even if it's not hosted there, and how to record high-quality video podcasts using Riverside. You can do it completely for free with Spotify for podcasters. And we have some incredible new features coming to the editor very soon. So subscribe to the channel right here and hit that like button. If you have any questions about adding video to your Spotify show or hosting on Spotify for podcasters, leave questions below this video. I answer those personally. And if you want a full walkthrough of that Spotify and Riverside integration, I did a video on that. You can check it out right up here. And once you create that video version of your show, not only will it be great in Spotify, but you should upload that to a YouTube channel as well. I did an entire video right here about how adding video to your podcast and having it on YouTube will open up your show to a whole new audience and really help with discoverability. If you have any questions on that, leave comments below as well. Thanks for watching. We can't wait to see what you create.